And we continue this afternoon on CentralValleyTalk.com. Mark Dyson from Mad Fitness is my next guest. Mad Fitness. Yeah. Are you mad about uh, fitness? Well, is that actually, it's my it's an acronym for my initials, Mark Aaron Dyson. Oh, okay. So I figured we'd be a little creative and try and throw that in there. Yeah. So. You you work with some of the local gyms like GB3. Correct. Yeah. Uh, you don't really work there, but you what contract yeah, out with clients? Yeah, so I'm a private personal trainer, and, and, and I um, used uh, GB3 um, as a place that I kind of rent space out, so people that are come, that are members there, I can, I can train them there at home, it could be a, a corporate location, and then I uh, do a lot of outdoor stuff too, which is, which is nice. Like what kind of outdoor things? Oh, uh, boot camps, you Yeah, say. like boot camps, um, we can, uh, you know, one, one thing that came uh, across that was really neat was a friend of mine called and said, hey, you know, my kid's playing football. And we got all these parents that are just sitting out there in their lawn chairs, you know, not doing anything. And why don't you come on out here and see what we can do? And lo and behold, that turned into a really big. Uh, you know, that's smart. Yeah, yeah. You had like a captive so, audience there, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they were there. They were stuck, and then they'd make each other feel guilty, and then they'd have to come out and participate. So. So you mean while the game's going on, you're over there training yeah, all the yeah, parents? Yeah, during their practices. So I'd you know come out there a couple nights a week, and and we'd uh, run a boot camp out there while their kids are practicing. That is really couple, smart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so that came out. That that really worked out well. You so. might have hit on something. Yeah, that. maybe. So, yeah. <laughs> so what's your background? Uh, my background is uh, I, I was an athlete in, in high school and in junior college. Played Here in Fresno? In Fresno, yeah. Yeah, I was actually at McLean. And, and, McLean. Uh, and then uh, over at the junior college. Uh, and uh, so I always really, and I, I really fell in love with, with training. I liked the working out part of it. And and uh, it just it became a passion for me. So I've done other things, and I still do have another business, but I do this and I'm putting more and more of my time into this because it's something I'm passionate about, and I really like helping people and and uh, seeing people progress, and and it's just it's just something that I really enjoy. So, yeah. yeah. You know, over the years, there's been times when I've thought about hiring a personal trainer, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, well, what what if I don't get along with them? What if we don't <laughs> click? Right. I mean, how how do, how do you suggest? people go about finding the right trainer? Because uh, it doesn't always work, Yeah, right? that's a really good question. I, I think that, uh, you know, such is life. You, you kind of run across somebody that uh, might be a good uh, match for you, and there are a lot of really, really good personal trainers, and, and some of them specialize in areas that others don't. So I think the, the key is, no one's going to, we're going to want to talk to you and we're going to want you to get the best out of your uh, your workouts and, and for this to really benefit you in your life. And I, I'd be the first one to say, hey, look, I, I know a trainer that would be, really would fit you well. And, uh, you know, because we talk and we have a great community of, of other trainers that know this stuff. So I'd say don't be afraid of that. Like, get in and talk to, we'd love to come and talk to you and, and you'll get an idea of how uh, the personality works out. and and uh, what direction you want to go, what you want from a personal trainer is them to listen to you. What are your goals? Yeah. What, are, what do you want? <laughs> you know, and, and what's, re what's realistic for you? And, and, and we have, you know, for myself, I have a big questionnaire. It's, it's, it's not the most extensive because I like to talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, but it definitely hits on some highlights of things that I would want to make sure, um, hey, you know, Mike, you're, you, this is what you're looking at and this is how I'm going to get you there. And what is it that, uh, what's your personality? Do you want me to really be a drill sergeant? And that's not who I I am. Do you want to coach, or and then we can kind of hone in on what's best for Mike, you know, and and uh, so I could I could say, hey, mate, you know what, Mike, maybe this isn't for you, and and but I, but Terry over here would be fantastic, you know. So I think you could you 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 should at least give it a shot if you're thinking about it, and I think you'd really be surprised. I mean, it just it can make all the difference in the world. Cool. You know, cool. There Did you happen to see 60 Minutes last weekend? Uh, no. They had an interview with the guy who created CrossFit. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, he's I have now seen a multimillionaire. Yeah, yeah, but he said that most people who go to most gyms are just wasting their time. Mm -hmm. And I kind of know what he means because when I go into the gym, sometimes you see people sitting on the machines on their phones. Sure, they're not. Right. They're not working out, or they're doing right. a little. They're not even sweating on the machine. Right. His right. point was with CrossFit. I guess you really have to work up a sweat and really get a workout. Yeah, and, and another thing I think is really cool, and the message that he has in that is that this is stuff, it's, you know, have a routine, have a program, know what you're doing, have direction when you go into the gym, but more importantly, all of the things that, that CrossFit brings is what we do in our everyday lives. It makes it easy for us. So you're gonna bend down and pick something up, why not have the strength to do that? So it promotes a lot of uh, mobility uh, within CrossFit, so there's a lot of direction in that. Uh, but it's complex, and, and that's where a trainer can really help out, at least to get somebody started in the right direction. Okay. Yeah. All right. How do folks find out more about Mad Fitness? Well, uh, you can find me on my website. Uh, I believe it's on the screen there. It's uh, madfitnesscentralcal.com. 
and I have you know bio and kind of a little bit about me and a contact and um, some articles in there too that are related mm. to fitness and nutrition. So yeah, yeah are you expensive? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> What's not, your health? Not worth, considering. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, but actually there is a price sheet on there too that you can you can actually look at. I'm not hiding. That I'm guessing sometimes. you probably work with people too, depending absolutely, on their situation. Ab absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. We're trying to help as many people as we can. Awesome, so. Mark. Thank you. All right, Mark thank Dyson. You, Mike. I appreciate it. <laughs> is vacuum cleaners your other business? I wish. I wish I was. <laughs> Dyson. <laughs> I missed out on that one. I know. All right, we'll be back with more on Central. Valley Talk.